Hi, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, the 29th. And you know, the timing is fluid, so I never know what the date is. I always have to look at the calendar. So um, timing is absolutely fluid. Whatever, whatever comes up today is for you at the right time. I'm going to get two of these this time and see what comes up, and then we'll break into that tarot deck. Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Sorry, there was a hair. Support is all around you. Maybe you need to ask for help. Ooh, transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. This is a new beginning. This, I mean, we all know what transformation is. Transformation is death. Transformation is the end of one phase and the beginning of another. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. Rebirth. Renewal. Something is ending. Maybe it's time for a new support system. No, <laughs> oh, of course. Somebody has to make a difficult decision. Trying to avoid making this decision. Trying to avoid the truth, even though they see the truth. Keeping that thin veil on. I see the truth, but not really. I mean, I don't want to see it, even though I do. Mm. Whatever, whatever you are avoiding really isn't stable. It's not secure. Somebody is in denial here, you know, that's the damn truth. Here we have the queen of denial. Um, in reverse, there's, there's lack of ambition, lack of excitement. There's no growth, lack of strength, lack of self-esteem. No self-confidence. Mm. Not making progress forward. Somebody's not progressing the way they should because they're thinking negatively. Holding on to a lie. Same old fucking story. Excuse my language. Um. Mm. Somebody needs to take back. Restore. Free themselves. I'm taking back control. But in order to take back control, you have to find your self-confidence. <laughs> and there's lack of confidence here. Release. Release. And that would make sense with this phoenix rising. Somebody's been sacrificing themselves for a lie. 
holding on, refusing to see things from a new perspective, but getting a new perspective, whether you like it or not. Trying to resist this ending. See? I deny that this is over. I deny this ending. I deny the death of this. I didn't... Uh, no. Refusing to take action, refusing to learn the lesson that needs to be learned, of course. The, but feeling empty and lost inside. There's an opportunity to take back control at any time. Ask for support if you need it. It's time to walk away from something that's not solid, it's not secure. It's time to stop hanging around in limbo, in denial, and walk away from this situation that is not honoring your heart. This is walking away. But this person is refusing to accept holding on and it's getting old it's getting old it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier and the only reason they're holding on is because they have lack of self-worth lack of self-esteem lack of self-confidence to take control to rid themselves rid themselves of a toxic situation of this this false bond you know, the devil is a manipulator. You have to find the strength to face that devil, the demons. And somebody doesn't have the strength. But somebody does because this is reversed. Somebody, not everybody, is going to face their demons because they've learned a lesson. Somebody, quite a few, the majority of the people, because the majority of the people in this reading right here are refusing to let a cycle end, a chapter end that is dead. It's time for a transformation. It's time for that ending so that uh, a new beginning can start. Mm, personal freedom. It's time to make a conscious change. A conscious change to free yourself from burdens, from the past, from the baggage, from the heaviness. The stuff that has held you down for so long. Complete that cycle. Because all it's doing is making you feel empty and lost. Oh my goodness. We're going we're gonna to clarify with some of these, I think. There's no progress. Just thinking about it but not taking any action. No, there's no progress. There's no victory here. There's no victory in whatever it is that you're holding on to for dear life. Yeah. You have you have to realize what you deserve. It takes equal give and take. You're going to have to put in energy. You're going to have to put in effort to get what you deserve. 
You have to see things from a new perspective. You have to be logical. You have to be assertive. You have to put yourself first. This is love. But there's no action being taken in love. <laughs> Queen of Wands twice because somebody is in denial. <laughs> somebody doesn't know what they're worth. And somebody lacks confidence that they will find another love. But if you could see things through this queen's eyes, this queen is, is pretty optimistic. She'd rather be independent than with the wrong one. This one will stay with the wrong one rather than be independent. This one in reverse. You're dealing with somebody or it's you. Somebody doesn't have integrity. Somebody doesn't have any backbone. Somebody's not doing the, re re the right thing. Somebody has lost their focus and concentration and they're in complete denial. Blocking, the page of coins reversed, love because of denial, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, not knowing what you deserve. Pride is an issue here. What's everybody going to say? There's a lot of power struggles. There's a lot of hurt as well. Pride and ego are, are big. It's, it's, it's really time for you to be happy. It's not. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. You deserve to be loved. For real. You might have to cut somebody out that's making you feel empty and lost. You might have to face your demons. Your fears. And turn your back on something that has no future. Somebody is really un unstable or unstable, insecure, stubborn, hard headed. But if you could realize and be patient and wait for divine timing, you would find wish fulfillment. But you have to stop holding on to something stubbornly that doesn't serve you. It's not solid. There's hope for a better future. There's hope. But you're going to have to walk away from something first. With the Eight of Cups underneath this hope, Underneath this healing, underneath this wish fulfillment, there's walking away and the death card reversed. Somebody is holding on to something that is dead when it is time for something new. It's time for renewal. It's time for you to come out of this darkness and see the light. It's time for you to step off of the thin ice. It's time for you to let go of these insecurities, which are fear. 
it's time for you to stop lying to yourself about something, whatever it is, and you are the very first card. I mean, it's all over here in this reading anyway. Ego and pride and fear of what everybody else is going to say is also very big in this situation. Ooh. There's a lot of people that you're worried about. Look at, there's five different hands, five different people. There's other people involved that you, you're worried about what they've got to say. Their opinion. Because you don't know what you deserve. That sucks, doesn't it? Okay, five, five, five. Power struggles, major life changes. That would be a transformation. Major. When you see 555, five, five, it means something is going to change. Expect it. And it's probably going to happen unexpectedly. Expect the unexpected. Divinely guided, major life changes when you see 555. Five, five. Let go of the old and bring in the new. It's also a time of personal freedom. And 555 five, five is also instability. You are involved in an unstable situation, but what the neighbors, the Joneses, your mother, your father, your family, your friends think is holding you back. They're in control at this point. Not you. If you're worried about what anybody else thinks, they are in control. Not you. And it is time for you to take back control of your life and face your demons and face your fears. This is why this card came up. Support is all around you. Ask them for support. Tell these people how you feel. And if they're really your friends, if they're really your family, if they really love you, they will support you. And if they don't, then they're not your people. Transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. We're going to read these. Hi. So I had to I had to push pause for a minute and uh, change my my battery. But we're going to read these two cards from the book. Be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you'd least expect. If someone offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you are so very loved in ways that may not always directly experience, that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means that there is support all around you. Blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real and their presence is near. They're only a thought away. Maybe you ask your angels for help, your spirit guides, your ancestors, whatever. Ask for help. But most of all, listen. Listen to your intuition. Follow your path. Your path. Not your family's. Yours. A fresh new way of living emerges. Transformation. You are in a time of huge transformation. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away, replaced by incredible vitality in new pathways. Soon, you'll be experiencing the world in a fresh, new way. The journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life, don't be concerned. 
This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. And I can see the confusion. It's, it's absolutely clear that there's confusion here. Okay? There is no doubt. Okay? This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. Like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to the old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Changes are afoot and it's all so very good. Stop sacrificing sacrificing yourself for a situation that is dead. Stop blocking the truth. Take that veil off. Put those swords down and accept the new path. Accept the change. Talk to you later.